This is a cringe core channel and it really sucks. This is the worst channel ever, but it's like the most notorious on, and I set records. It's so weird. I could go through the history of the cringe core channel. It's just insanely ridiculous. But I wanted to tell you something that might help you if you're dealing with panic attacks, right? Now, this is the thing. I haven't had to deal with any emotional, like, mental health issues at all until just recently. And uh, it's been really hard. You know, I got a struggle. And the thing is, it's like, it's difficult to fall asleep. I'm going to help you fall asleep, okay? Okay, um, don't drink profusely. That's what I do. That's how I start this whole thing. It's like a ritual to get to sleep as I drink profusely. Like, uh, you know, a lot of double shots with a... Uh, um, uh, don't do that. Uh, there's a thing. Uh, most of my friends are extremely wealthy. And I'm just telling you this so that you know this is coming from a good place. Because I trust this guy, right? Uh, he, uh, he's a son of a bar owner. I show up at the place and he gives me a Guinness. Like, it's just a drink for free there. And he said, hey, listen, man. Um, try this out. This is a vape pen. And you can get cartridges for it. And you can get a non-hallucinogenic THC. And from what I understand about that, as it'll change the serotonin in your brain and cause you to relax a little bit. So that can induce sleep. But the thing of it is, is like, maybe uh, it's light sleep sometimes. So if you wake up, if you just take a nap or whatever, try not to do too much and just go back to sleep. Try not to wake up, right? Because uh, it's really rough. First thing you got to know about panic attacks is that it's all in your mind. That's not going to cause it to stop sometimes because you're trying to figure out like how to fix the problems that you have. And you don't want to go to sleep until you can solve your problems. So that's a serious situation there. And that causes uh, some of this stuff. I told this lady uh, that works at a, like a, uh, whatever. Uh, she was at a, I, I talked to her at a, she was talking to a gas station employee. She was trying to get these uh, edibles that are legal everywhere in the United States. And she said that she can't get to sleep unless she uses these. And then I told her about what uh, my buddy told me about. Um, the, 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 the pen is, is affordable. Like, it's not a rich guy thing. Don't worry about that. Like, seriously, I go through money like uh, Norm MacDonald or something. I'm completely ridiculous. Like, I, I get really rich, and then I get, like, really poor, and then I get really rich, and then I get really... I'm just uh, out of my mind, right? So don't listen to me about any uh, physical... I got a, the worst uh, person ever for an accountant, and uh, I was with this lady for, like, like, six months or whatever, and she was the most awesome lady ever, but... Oh, good God, bankrupt with that lady. So you got to get out, you got to make moves. You know, you got to get your papers back up somehow. And then you go out to that casino and just waste it all. So anyway, take this out. It's a, a roller coaster of the whole thing. So you can get this stuff. It's like the inventor of this pen is like 50s, 60s or whatever, 19, that way. Uh, 1960s or 50s or whatever. And he was uh, talking about how it gave him longevity. Like his lungs are uh, more healthy because of his invention. And he said the problem is the patent for this stuff was uh, got ripped off. And that people, they make inferior quality cartridges and stuff. And that sends people to the hospital. So he's got healthy lungs. And now he's got to deal with these uh, knockoff manufacturers that are sending people to the hospital. Like, like who wants to deal with that? That sucks. But anyway... If you get a really good cartridge, you can get like, uh, this is legal everywhere, like a non-hallucinogenic THC, or like there's another one that's like sativa or something, just, just look around, there are multiple cartridges. But the thing is, is like, from what I understand scientifically, it'll change the serotonin in your brain, and it'll calm you down. And then that's how you can get some sleep, you know? But seriously, if you get sleep, and then you wake up too soon, don't do too much activity, just uh, go back to sleep. You know, cause you need that. You need to have sleep. And uh, 
good God. I just, uh, I'm kind of grateful that I'm walking around like a zombie sometimes. You know, I, on Somnia for like four days or whatever. Because I didn't know how hard it was for people until I had to experience it myself. So after living that way, now maybe I can help you with this advice. And if you watch any of my cringe core stuff, uh, whatever, I really care about you.